Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, 2026 is about to start and I hope you've started making your career plans for 2026. What are the areas you're going to be focusing on? Now, if you're familiar with the channel, then you know I've been in cybersecurity for over 20 plus years now, out of which the last five have been dedicated to cloud security, especially AWS. And a lot of people reach out to me and they tell me that they are also going on the same journey and they're learning cloud security, Azure, AWS, and I always ask them a question like, how are you learning AWS? Like, what's your learning method? And they tell me that I'm learning this service like uh, Security Hub, and then I'm going to move to Config, then I'm going to move to Guard Duty, basically jumping from service to service. Or they tell me that I'm doing this certification and then I'm going to do the next certification and on and on. And the reason I, that's the reason I made this video today, actually. I want to show you why hopping from service to service is not a good idea, because in 2026, companies are not going to be hiring people who can list down the names of security services, right? They want people who, who are intelligent enough to understand architecture, how cloud services actually work within the context of risk, and, you know, which can help them solve their cybersecurity problems. So that's the whole point of today's video. Like, I wish I had this video five years back when I was starting out in cloud security in AWS. And hopefully this gives you a very good roadmap. Uh, to proceed on your journey. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tamar Jalal and I'm a senior security consultant with AWS in London. And I made this channel to just to give advice on AI security, cloud security and career advice. So please do like and subscribe to this channel and let's get started. Okay, like I said, in 2026, AWS security is no longer about knowing the names of every service under the sun. AWS has like thousands of services probably. By the time we finish this video, new services will have come out, right? It's not about knowing the names of the services. It's about understanding how that those services work within the context of architecture, identity, and designing cloud workloads, okay? Nobody's going to be impressed, you know, Guard Duty and Hub and Security Hub and Config. They will be interested how you know which service applies to where and where the trade-offs between the services, like when to apply which and how to go about it, right? So the common mistakes... I see when people start their cloud security journey and when they're learning AWS, they jump from service to service. Like I said, they will one be learning card duty one day, then they'll move on to WAF, then they'll move off to DDoS, then they'll move off to Massey without any context there, right? Or like I said, they memorize the names of services instead of understanding what security problem they are solving. Or they start treating certifications as the learning goal. They think if I do this certification or that certification, I will be, become an expert suddenly. Or they never build anything hands-on and that blows my mind. How can you learn cloud security without building anything hands-on? Or what they do is they jump to the fancy services like Guard Duty or Macy or Security Hub without understanding the fundamentals like IAM and VPC design. If you skip these, you will always be on a back foot when it comes to cloud security. So these, these are the common mistakes which I have seen people making and this is what I want to focus on. So how, here's a roadmap to practically learn AWS security in 2026. And I sincerely hope this roadmap helps you out if you're starting out. So the first step above everything is please get a free AWS tier account. An AWS free tier account is simply is a cloud sandbox. You will get $200 in free credits. And by doing other stuff like spinning up EC2, setting up billing alerts, and all that you will get more. So I can, you can easily get $350 for free. That is more than enough to start playing around within AWS and understanding how it works and to get hands-on. So above everything, please get a free tier account. Do not just focus on theory. Do not just focus on reading passively about AWS. You need to actually get access to it and start building up your knowledge about AWS. The number two step is start with IAM. Do not skip identity and access management. This is the foundation for every single security decision that is made within AWS. Every API call has to be authenticated, authorized. They think, a lot of people, they think they have memorized certain concepts, so now they know IAM, and they never do anything. So very few, like, you know, when I talk to people, very few people can explain to me the IAM workflow, or they can design a trust policy, or they can model a blast radius. If, if a credential was compromised, and I tell them what's the blast radius, of this IAM policy, they will not know because they never got around to working on IAM. There are many, many free resources. There's one video from AWS, which is better than most courses. I'm gonna link it below. I'm gonna link all the free resources I talk about below. So you can take a look at them. So please check that out so that you have a very, very good foundation. IAM, do not skip IAM. Do not just 
think that IAM is turning on MFA or putting in a password policy and that's it. I can now forget about IAM. If you do not learn IAM correctly, you will always have a problem later on. Okay, once you've learned IAM, the next step is to build a VPC. VPC is a virtual private cloud. This is like a small network, apply a piece of the AWS cloud in which you can launch your workloads and resources. Learn how to set up a VPC, how subnets, uh, how to set up a web subnet, how to set up a root table, how to set up a security group on a network access control list, and internet gateway and NAT gateway. You don't have to do it through Terraform or like some fancy cloud formation. Do it through ClickOps, do it through the console. Just understand how it's working. Then what will happen is you will understand, okay, which resources will need internet access, how east-west traffic flow works within the VPC. You will start understanding them. So build a, the first step was learning IAM. The next step is, understanding how a VPC is formed, what are the different these different uh, resources within a VPC like subnets, route tables and internet gateways and all of this stuff. Again, millions of resources are present. You can just start it yourself. You will have problems at the start. You will troubleshoot and then you will understand it. So don't worry about it. This is how you learn within AWS. Now that you have the foundational knowledge, I want you to deploy an actual workload, which is a simple web application. Just set up a simple web application within AWS, an EC2 container, launch an EC2 server or a container. Once you have deployed it, now what you do is take a look at the risks, okay? Have you hard-coded any IAM roles? Is like, sorry, have you hard-coded the API keys instead of using IAM roles? Maybe your security groups are too open. Maybe what you've done is you've opened the whole port 22 over the internet, right? Anybody can access it. Maybe you didn't put in encryption. Your logging is not enabled. So what will happen is instead of thinking about services first, you're thinking about the architecture. You're thinking about what are the attack paths here, and then you will map these two services. So instead of having services first, you're putting the architecture first, you're understanding what the architecture is, and now you're moving to the services. This is this is what helps you to get a better understanding of AWS security. Now that you have it, now start adding AWS security services because now you have the context, right? Now think about should I put in like AWS WAF and Shield or maybe should I turn on Config or Security Hub and Guard Duty? Why? Because now you understand you, you have a security problem, which security service will solve it the best. So instead of having a tool first mentality, you have an architecture first mentality. And this is what separates senior cloud security engineers from junior ones from everybody else. Because you put the architecture first, you do the risk assessment and then you understand. Now that you have it, now you can mature your AWS security. You focus on quick wins first, put in those controls which are easy and cost efficient to implement and which have the highest return on value and do it slowly, have a phased approach. Now you might ask me, how do I know which controls to implement first and which to implement further and how do I know that maturity is happening? Well, good news is AWS have an excellent free resource which is the AWS security maturity model. If you're not familiar with this, this is a set of prescriptive guidance they've given how to basically mature your AWS security. You have phase one, which is quick wins, phase two foundational, phase three efficient, phase four optimized, and literally across the layers from identity access management, threat detection, vulnerability management, they give you best practices. This is not like a standard. This is prescriptive guidance based on thousands and thousands and thousands of customers that they have talked to. So it is an excellent resource. I'm going to link it below. Use that to start on your journey. And this is really how you uh, get a better understanding on AWS security. Now that you have done this, we can now talk about certifications, not from the start. The certifications come after, after you have a good foundational knowledge. If you are asking me, if you are starting out and if you're serious about AWS security, I would recommend doing the AWS Solutions Architect Associate and then doing the AWS Security Specialty. Do not jump into the AWS Security Specialty first if you're completely new to AWS because the Solutions Architect Associate will give you a very good understanding of what the AWS Cloud is, things like the shared, shared responsibility model and the other stuff. So start out like this. This is what I did also in 2019 when I was starting out and that gave me an excellent foundation on AWS. So certifications still matter. I will never say certifications are useless, but only when you have aligned it with your actual real world practical hands-on stuff yeah so this was basically my overview for you my path for you i will put all the resources that i have below they are completely free you can check them out like remember if you want to really be good in aws security design secure secure architectures first from first principle instead of thinking about i have to turn on xyz services 
prioritize controls using something like the security maturity model because that will help you to explain why you're choosing a particular service and slowly slowly improve your posture incrementally instead of thinking i have to do this big bang approach i need to have the most secure cloud architecture ever slowly slowly start instead of just thinking getting stuck in analysis paralysis at this way right so i hope this helps you out and like gets you started on aws security i am launch launching an, a course on aws security in feb 2026 you can check that out it's uh, it's uh, now available on my academy i'm i've started making it based on the feedback that i've gotten and i'm going to be giving you as much real world practical guidance and examples as i can thank you very much i hope this helps you out wishing you an awesome 2026 do like and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next video